The technical guide is the reference document in Italy used by the competent authorities for the integration of aquaculture activities into marine special plan. Today, marine aquaculture occupies only a small part of national maritime space and less than 0,1% and the number of aquaculture facilities is decreasing by 10% in the last 10 years. The absence of marine special planning together with the red tape uh, to obtain new licenses have slowed down the process of aquaculture growth. So this guide is to support the aquaculture sector in this challenge, providing new methodology and knowledge for the implementation of ASA, taking into account the existing constraints, pressures, uh, existing uses, uh, and more important, the state of marine environment. The guide for the establishment of ASA in Italy was prepared by ISPRA in 2020 for the Minister of Agriculture and was funded by European Maritime Fishery Funds. ASA are declared by the competent authority as priority area assigned for aquaculture and the process involved many three steps, the designation of ASA, the identification of suitable sites inside the ASA and the monitoring and management of ASA inside. The process is the result of a broad and open consultation of uh, public authorities, uh, representatives of marine regions, uh, experts and scientists, and uh, um, producer association, uh, re which represent uh, about 90% of fish and shellfish sector in Italy. Uh, we would like to thank everyone for effective collaboration. The main challenge in Italy is the absence of a unique law for aquaculture and for the use of different criteria and approach by regional authorities for licensing and monitoring aquaculture activity. To overcome this challenge, ISPRA is providing technical support to marine region and has implemented ASA uh, along the Tyrrhenian cost for 700 kilometers. Another important step is the new guide that will be published by the end of this, of this year um, and provide and will provide a set of indicators for monitoring environmental performance of marine aquaculture. This is an important step because this set of indicator is included in the regional plan for Mediterranean aquaculture under the, Bar the Barcelona Convention and will be mandatory by 2026 for all Mediterranean countries. The benefits for the Italian aquaculture sector are many. The most important is the availability for the first time of a programmatic reference framework for the sector and the simplification of the procedures for the allocation of marine zone and site for aquaculture. Also the uh, application of uh, the same principle and criteria for allocate marine zone for the different uses is important to avoid competitive distortion between different uh, uses and the uh, integration of uh, aquaculture uh, with other economic activities and social interest. Last but not least, the facilitation for the private sector for new investment a new initiative in, in aquaculture. My suggestion to European countries are basically three. Uh, the first one is the involvement of stakeholders from the initial stage, this is very important. The second one is to collect and use the data that are available at country level. Um, this data can be used to elaborate constraints map that exclude the marine areas that are not available for aquaculture and identify the free marine areas where the most suitable site can be identified using the suitability index that we develop. 
the last suggestion regarding the GIS system. Uh, this tool uh, are very important. We develop uh, in Italy a web app that is called AquaGIS and is used to visualize and uh, analyze ADSA and to make model on the cabin capacity. Um, is also used by policy makers for designation of ADSA and by private sector to identify site for new uh, aquaculture activities.